Squared Circle Boxing. This is a fight profile. We joined here today by Delmar Thomas. Yeah. How are you going, Delmar? All good, mate. All good, fit and strong. Ready? Ready to go. Yeah, man. Alright, um, so you've seen fight profile before. What we yeah. do is basically just tell us how it all began, how you got into boxing. Yeah, well, basically, I got into boxing when I was about. I used to do boxing when I was a kid, just young, about six years old, just in the gym. My mum took me down to, I think it was it was a pub in Bullwell. Right. Took me down to the pub in Bullwell, just a little mess around. I didn't really take it serious. Fell off, uh, started doing football in my in my teens, and then when I was about 16, 17, so I went to Tommy Thompson's. My mum took me to the gym again, just took me up to Tommy Thompson's. I was on the road just doing a bit. Um, took me up to Tommy Thompson's, and um, from there it just kicked off. Was that Tommy Thompson's, uh, was that when he was in Stenton or was that? Um, no, Neverfield. When he, uh, yeah, just Neverfield above the pub, yeah, uh, yeah. Fox and Iron Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I man, know Tommy well. Yeah, man. Yeah, he's a good trainer, man. Good guy. But yeah, it all started from there. That was what was missing. It just clicked with me. And then from there, I just stuck on it, stuck with it. Uh, I had a few unlicensed fights. And then um, I started working. I'm getting a bit older. I needed a bit of money. I started working. Yeah. Got into work. I fell off boxing. And then, recently, well, not recently, a couple of years back, about three years ago, got in contact with uh, Barrington Brown. Yeah. Told me to come down to his gym, went down there for a bit. Um, it all went well, just clicked. All the training, all the people around us, hard work, dedication, it all just made sense, man. And then Sign Pro all kicked off from there. Right. Uh, I believe you've had three fights so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pro. Yeah. So, um, who was your toughest then out of the three? Um, uh, probably my last fight, uh, Michael Muni. Right. It was. It wasn't tough. I made it tough for myself, really. I yeah. made it harder than what it should have been. Should have listened to my coach more. There's loads of little things you pick up on when you look back on the fight, but it wins a win. I still got the win, but I made it tough for myself. It wasn't a tough opponent, but I just made it harder for myself. Nice. Right, so you had to work it out then through the fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm learning on the job, you know. Well, this is it. This is what it's all it. about, isn't it? At the yeah. end of the day. So, what's your boxing ambitions then? I'm just going. I'm just going with the flow. I'm going to see where it takes me. But I believe I can get. I can get to the top. I believe I can get some get recognition. Yeah. I know. I believe in myself, and I know where I can go with it. So I'm just going to keep pushing and keep going. So you're looking for like basically a Midlands title to start with. Yeah, and then yeah, move yeah. on and move on, move on and on up to the top. Yeah. Yeah, man, I know I'm capable, so Building. come in for it. Well, I've seen all three of you. Your profiles. Yeah. And you're always an exciting fight. Yeah, well, thank you. And yeah, they're good. It's good to watch. Cheers, man. You're fighting Knots, boys. Yeah. That's uh, next week, Saturday. Yeah, it's actually fight week. I'm ready yeah, to be with you. Week, fight week is coming up. Are you ready to go? I'm ready for it. I'm I'm ready. It's been a while. Last fight was in uh, May. So, yeah, man, it's been a while. I'm ready to go. Ready. Ready up. Ready to go. Right. So, yeah. And who's your opponent? I'm fighting Daniel Adler. Right. Do you believe? Um, he's had, I think his record's three and three wins, two, three fights, two wins, one loss, or something along those lines. Yeah. Something along that. But yeah, man, I'm ready anyway. Make sure he is. All right, good job. Good job. Well, that's our Knox boys. Where are the yeah, Knox boys? Yeah. Now? You train it, as you said, you train at uh, DCT gym. Yeah. yeah. Uh, with Barrington Brown. How do you mm -hmm. find that, though? Good, good work, man. Hard work, dedication. Like I said, everyone's. The whole team's just dedicated and we're all on a mission, so it just motivates everyone around us and we all just go hard in the gym. Well, you've got to be getting some good experience with some of the lads in there, you're yeah, yeah. training with Echo from yeah. Derek. Yeah, yeah. Got some good good guys around us, so when we're sparring with these guys, it's always good to, to work with them and learn what they're about and learn their abilities. And just, if you can spar with these guys, then there's a lot of people out there that will be able to handle you. Right. So what have you been doing there for your training camp up to this fight then? So loads of hard work, day in, day out. We'll be doing three sessions a day. Um, some Sometimes uh, just sometimes three sessions a day. Most of the time, every day, it's two sessions a day. Other than that, it's three. Um, we're just working hard. So working what's your hard, daily routine then? Hit the gym in the morning, 10 o'clock. Um, I come home 10 to 12. Come home, have a little break. But sometimes I might be working. I work part-time for John Lewis, doing right. a driver's mate job. So sometimes I start my shifts at 2 o'clock and I have to go work 2 till 10 and then there's another late night session at 11 o'clock. So I do my shift at work, from work I'll go to the gym um, 11 till 12 and then sleep, repeat, same thing. So long days. Yeah, man. Do you do any running in between? Yeah, of course, running all the time, running at 4 o'clock in the morning sometimes. Some, on Wednesdays I do a 4 o'clock run in the morning. 
that's just my little secret. I didn't really want to let that one out. Yeah. <laughs> too, late yeah. too late now. Too late. Yeah. But um, yeah. Other than that, yeah. Always running, we'll stay running with the gym. We always stay fit. We stay ready. Right. Yeah, man. We're, we're always ready. So, uh, like, go back to the uh, the Knots boys that you're fighting on this week, then. Yeah. Uh, so, if your friends are watching or mm-hmm. anybody just interested wants to get tickets, how do they go about doing that? Uh, Facebook, Debo, Instagram, Ungarelli Bo. That's with a U. So yeah, just add me up, drop me a message. If anybody's interested, come down and show some sport. No, oh, yeah, great. Uh, so is there anybody you'd like to thank? I thank all my sponsors. I've got Cumberlet sponsors. I thank them for all the support, all the uh, fight shorts and the gear and everything like that. Hot and spicy. They help me out with my food and my meal preps. Um, that's about it really. i just got those three sponsors at the moment. Lionheart for the clothing. Um, yeah, uh, Wing Rack and Shelving. They, they're, they're killing it, they're putting a lot in right now. Yeah. But yeah, man, that's about it, really. Thank all of them. Thank all my people for buying tickets so far and supporting me. Yeah. Is there anything you'd like to add? Um, not really, just watch out for me. I'm coming, I'm coming, man. Serious. You're coming, you're gonna hit the big yeah, time. Man. Yeah, man. Well, like I say, we'll be there if I will be watching, shouting for you. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, Delmar Thomas, thank you very much for talking to us. Shout out DCT Boxing Academy, man. Boom. Boom.